So my name is Brenda Lacuna. I'm a geology PhD candidate at the Department of Earth, Ocean, and Atmospheric Sciences at UBC. I am in the Ecohydrology Research Group under the supervision of Dr. Mark Johnson. And my research and also my presentation title for AGU is how do carbon and water fluxes change with land use and land cover in the Amazon, Cerrado, and Pantanal biomes. Um, and I'm doing this using a network of edicovariance towers that we have across the state of Mato Grosso in Brazil. So basically what this means is that I want to know what happens when we convert a natural ecosystem into a managed one. For example, if we go from an Amazon forest to a pasture site or an agricultural site, in terms of the exchange of carbon and water from the land to the atmosphere. Um, so some of the questions we want to answer are, um, is this pasture absorbing the same amount of carbon dioxide than the forest? Maybe, maybe not. Or is the forest recycling more water back to the atmosphere than the pasture? Um, and is there any difference during rainy or dry periods? So yeah, so those are some of the questions that I'm trying to answer with my research. First of all, we found that there is a marked seasonality of both carbon and water fluxes at all of our study sites. So basically this means that we saw a decrease in carbon uptake during the dry season compared to the rainy season. And this is because the dry season is really, really dry at these sites. There's no rain or barely um, rains, maybe less than 10 millimeters per month. Um, so yeah, it's very dry. Um, we also found that natural ecosystems had higher carbon uptake than managed sites in the Amazon and the Pantanal biomes, but we didn't see the same in the Cerrado. Um, here, the agricultural sites were actually very similar to the natural um, savanna site. In terms of water, we saw that natural sites had higher evapotranspiration than managed sites, which means that more water was recycled to the atmosphere at the natural sites than agriculture or cattle uh, pasture sites. I think my work is important because there is a lot of things we still don't understand or don't know about carbon and water fluxes from tropical ecosystems. Um, for example, there is still a lot of uncertainty about the effect of climate change or further changes in land use and land cover um, will have on, on these ecosystems because there is not a lot of field data because they are very challenging places to work in. Um, they're either very hot or very humid. The, um, it's not easy to access sometimes. Um, also, a lot of the models we currently use to study or predict the behavior of other ecosystems, maybe in Northern latitudes, um, they can't accurately predict um, the seasonality of the fluxes in the Amazon. So I really hope this work can help us understand tropical ecosystems a bit better. Um, particularly for the less studied regions like the Cerrado or Pantano. Um, I think a lot of the attention is focused in the Amazon because it's, you know, it's the lungs of the world or it's this mega biodiverse um, forest, but the Cerrado and the Pantano are also, are also very important ecosystems. Um, and we don't know um, a lot about them either. So yeah, I hope these data can be used to inform and improve current land surface models and finally, by understanding the effect of land use and uncovered change, hopefully we can um, have more, more information about how to manage agriculture or pasture sites better to reduce the environmental impact. Best part of all of the project was going to Brazil to do field work um, and visit some of the flux towers. So some of them are very tall, like more than, you know, more than 40 meters. Um, and unfortunately, I'm actually scared of heights. So it was a real challenge for me to go to the top. Um, and I remember that um, while I was going up, I kept thinking, oh no, like, what am I doing? Why, what did I get myself into? Um, and I was holding on to the handrails, like really strong, like holding on um, for my life, basically. Um, but it was so worth it um, once I reached the top. Um, and you, you can see like, the whole forest or the whole area. Um, so it, it's just beautiful um, and it feels so peaceful and it's almost like the air is cleaner. I don't know, it's just a great experience. 
So I really like this area of research. So um, basically the exchange of um, carbon and water from the biosphere to the atmosphere. So there, that's something I really want to continue doing. Um, but maybe, you know, trying different ecosystems um, to see what's, what's the difference between all of these different sites. I also enjoy mentoring students a lot. So hopefully my next position involves some mentoring and teaching too. Um, I'm not sure yet um, if I want to go to just academia, but, um, but maybe a position that involves a bit of teaching, research and mentoring um, would be great. 